Hey guys, what's going on? It's the boy who had seven, and I'm gonna share with you a couple of amazing gifts I got for my birthday. Stick around to see what I got. All right guys, I'm Matt, the boy who had seven, and I wanna welcome you to another video. I appreciate you guys stopping by. If this is your first time, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and let me know what you think down in the comments below. It was recently my birthday and I had a great time. My wife threw me a surprise birthday party. I had some friends and family over and I got gifted some pretty cool stuff that I wanted to share with you guys today. I have a friend that owns quite a bit of pops and I, I'm talking a thousand plus, okay? And she's getting ready to sell them all. Some of you may have heard about it on Instagram, seen a couple of the videos that I posted and I bought quite a few. I've got them right there above my bed right now. I got some Harry Potter Pops, Lord of the Ring Pops, Disney Pops, Matrix Pops, Michael Jackson Pops, and on and on and on. Well, when I was buying the Pops from her, I had set myself a budget, right? I was gonna set this budget, make these videos, and share with the community. Well, I went over that budget, and I had to put a lot of stuff back, and it was really hard, and I was like, no! <laughs> well, lo and behold, my birthday comes around, and my friend Bonnie hooked it up. So, I wanna show you guys some of the gifts that I was given from Bonnie. She got me two pretty awesome pops and they're both from Lord of the Rings. So my Lord of the Rings fans, get in front of the video right now so you can see it. This first one is a New York Comic Con convention glow in the dark pop. It's a bit pricey on the Funko app, but this is Lord of the Rings number 448 and this is the Balrog. All right, if you guys know Lord of the Rings, you know who this is. This is the very demon that Gandalf the Grey has to fight and in that uh, process he becomes something greater and he returns as Gandalf the White. Balrog is a demon that was buried deep in the earth a long time ago and the greedy dwarfs dug so deep and in so so much darkness that they released him from his prison and he came out and he fought Gandalf and wow if you guys have seen the movie that is a heartbreaking scene when the fellowship loses Gandalf but the beginning of the second movie, The Two Towers, my goodness, it is so epic. The battle between Gandalf and Balrog is there falling and falling and falling. So this is such a cool pop. It does glow in the dark. I was showing my niece the other day. She loved it. So Bonnie, thanks for this. This is incredible. I'm so happy to have this one. And this one goes along with it, guys. Again, Lord of the Rings. This is Treebeard. I love Treebeard. Such a cool character. He's an Ent which means he's pretty much a, a being that can think, a tree that can think and move and walk, and he is what has populated the earth with trees, and all the trees are the Ents children. So he is a tree farmer, and uh, yeah, he's lost his tree wives, the Ent wives. So this character helps to storm Isengard and defeat Saruman, and uh, it's all because of Merry and Pip. So what a cool pop. These things are pretty big. I'm gonna I'm gonna put another pop that I got from my good friend Tim. So thank you, Bonnie, for these. And I want to compare. Check out this Imperial Palace Batman. Look at the size difference, guys. These are humongous. But check out this really cool Imperial Palace Batman that my friend Tim and his family gave to me. They know I love everything Japanese, though this is Chinese. The Imperial Palace. It looks like a samurai armor. So I'm so cool with it. Uh, I love thinking about Batman in the Imperial armor. And uh, what an awesome pop. There's the palace back there, okay? I absolutely love it, Tim, kids. Uh, Steph, thank you guys so much for this cool gift. Batman can never go wrong with Batman and me. All right, so next two gifts are gonna be from my family. Um, and uh, the last gift will be from my sister, brother-in-law, and niece because it is the coolest gift I've ever gotten on my birthday. So here's another pop. You all know I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan and my favorite character of all time across all different universes is Vegeta. And this is a little pop of Prince Vegeta that finally came in the mail. I pre-ordered this last year and I was so glad it came in in time for my birthday. So this is a little present uh, from my family to me that's been waiting for a while. But this is Vegeta when he was just a little prince. His dad was still alive and he was a slave to Frieza made to go destroy the people, inhabitants on planets, and then sell the planets for a profit. So, man, Vegeta is so cool, such a great character, but as a little prince, 
I absolutely love it. And you can see his little tail back there. So awesome. Good to have that one in the collection. Okay, this next one is a Harry Potter statue. And this is the Hagrid and Harry Potter statue. And I want you guys to take a look at that. This thing is so cool. It is now sitting here on my desk. This comes from book number seven when Harry's magical protection has run out because he is now of age. And since he is of age, that magical protection from his mom, the love that she sacrificed and showed him, the love that she showed him by sacrificing herself and died when Voldemort tried to kill Harry, it was transferred to his, her sister who watched Harry Potter, though she did a horrible job. And so now that's run out and he's got to escape from Voldemort because Voldemort wants to kill him. In the book, all of his friends and uh, people that love him and believe in him come. They take a polyjuice potion and they all look like Harry. And they all split up and go separate ways so the bad guys don't know which Harry is the right Harry. And Voldemort comes in the fray. This is a sad part because Hedwig dies at this part. And it's kind of a coming of age. Hedwig was with him since the beginning. Whew, look at me getting emotional. And she, uh, she is hit by a killing curse. Uh, of course... Um, Voldemort thinks that Harry's going to be with the strongest Auror, which is a wizard that fights dark wizards. And uh, so he goes after Mad-Eye Moody, and, uh, but Harry isn't with Mad-Eye Moody. He's with Hagrid on Sirius Black's old bike. So I love this. It means a lot to me. Looking at it every day, it's just incredible. It's done so well. So, yeah, I know my Harry Potter fans out there will love that. Okay. Next, this is a book that I just got the day before my birthday. I've been wanting this for a long time. I could not find it. Well, I could, but it was really pricey, and I waited until the price went down. Um, I still paid a little bit of money for this one, but I'm happy to have it because it completes my collection, and it's going to allow me to make another video for you guys later on. So stay tuned for that. But this is Ghost Rider, Volume 2, Number 1. Before I even put that up there, Come on, guys. Come on. Who's, who's this all about? Who's it going to be? Who's the first appearance I'm about to show you? One of my favorite characters ever. Danny Ketch, Ghost Rider. So this is the Ghost Rider that I grew up uh, reading and knowing. Johnny Blaze is great, but this is my Ghost Rider, Danny Ketch. And as you see here, guys, this is the new stand version. All right. This is the 9.8 white pages. First appearance of Danny Ketch as Ghost Rider. First appearance of Death Watch and also a Kingpin appearance. This is such a great book. I now uh, have several different versions of this book that I will share with you in that video. So, so glad to pick this one up. I think one of these days, Danny Ketch is gonna blow up and I'm just getting prepared and I wanna get you guys prepared too. All right, here it is. Last gift, guys. This is so cool. I just was super emotional seeing it. I was blown away. I look at it every day and I'm in love with it. And this is from my sister, my brother-in-law, and their baby. So thank you to you guys. I love you so much. Here it is, guys. Uh, a pop. But this pop is Uncle Batman, the boy who had seven. So my niece calls me Uncle Batman. She's been calling me that for a while now. I love it. Every time she sees me, she's like, Uncle Batman. And they decided to make me this personalized pop. It says the boy who had seven. It's got number 10, which is my favorite number. All right. It's got Uncle Batman, number 10. The pop is actually looking exactly like my logo, which you guys will see here. Okay, in the back, it's got my name. It's got best brother. It's got the greatest uh, uncle ever, and it's got Bishop, which y'all know I'm doing now. The boy who had seven, there's my logo right there. And so, how cool is that? One of the best gifts of all time. I just am absolutely in love with this. I can't wait to show this to the community. I'm gonna be popping this on Instagram and sharing it so much, but guys, I love this. This was so thoughtful, so incredible, and uh, I really, really appreciate it. I love you guys. So there it is, Uncle Batman's birthday presents. I got a good haul. I wanna thank everybody that participated, and I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. Let me know what you're wanting for your birthday this year. Leave it down in the comments below. Maybe your birthday passed. Let me know what you got. So, as always, guys, I will talk to you later. And that's it. Mischief managed. Oh.